it's pretty much been hinted that Vegeta is uh, training under Beerus to get uh, the Hakai technique mastered like him. Now, does that sound interesting? To be honest, yes, it does. Yes, it does, and I'll I'll tell you why. Because we will have for the first time ever um, have Vegeta have a technique that is very very powerful to Goku's technique but it's a different technique so it's not the same thing as Ultra Instinct it's his own thing it's the God route I like that a lot I like the fact that they've made this little distinction between the angel route and the God route and all the things that fall in between now to be honest when I look at it like this it does seem very obvious that Goku is going to be the more powerful fighter by default because he's going the angel route and the angels are you know in Dragon Ball at least above the gods you know which is kind of kind of doesn't make any sense because angels were always kind of i mean in mythology angels were always kind of like servants of gods and uh, were in a sense below the god you know they were divine in nature but not really truly quite there as the god is but yeah the god is actually you know i mean it, it says it itself it's it's god like it's a big deal <laughs> it's the deal it's it's everything so um pretty much that i find um interesting how they're gonna switch that because gods of destructions are not really all that big of a deal you know uh when we see the gods of destructions from the other universes they don't really seem like all that you know they don't really seem like that big of a deal but here we have beerus just smacking the shit out of vegeta again you know, Beerus is alpha as fuck in this man in this manga, in this latest manga chapter. Um, he's completely wrecking Vegeta, and um, it's it's kind of looking like they're coming with that angle of um, of making Beerus this threat again. You know, it's very obvious. It's very very seeable. I think everyone can kind of notice that and see that Beerus is being made relevant again. Now, if you think that you know Beerus being made relevant again is something that is good i agree i find it very good but they kind of fucked themselves when they were talking uh all of that smack about jiren in the uh tournament of power uh, it was like yeah you know beerus was all shocked shit in his pants when uh, jiren powered up and here he is just still you know being confident and kind of kicking ass which i like but it's like you know weren't you kind of almost below jiren like it was kind of heavily implied in the anime at least that um beerus was um below jiren um i think rhyme style or set the programmer made a really good video about this kind of debunking all that and does beerus really stand a chance against goku like are they even in the same stratosphere at all i still really want to see that fight but it's like, what are they going to do? Are they going to make Goku fight Beerus again? Or are they going to make Vegeta fight Beerus again? Because to be honest, I would like to see Vegeta fight Beerus again. And yes, that Goku rematch is long overdue. But in another sense, it is also that mm, I would like to see Vegeta get the upper hand on Beerus and, and beat his ass for once. But I like Beerus, man. I really do. He's dope. But it's like, they don't use him enough. They literally just don't fucking use them enough in it and when you're watching the show you know time after time it just becomes the beerus problem you know here's this guy that's really powerful that's supposed to just destroy any sort of threat because he's the destroyer of the universe yet the dude doesn't do his fucking job you know it's i guess it's a joke thing i guess it's funny and that's kind of lightheartedness of dragon ball in general but i mean jesus christ isn't that a bit a bit but you know a bit stupid like i mean it's cool it's funny in a way but in another way it's kind of like come on man like really like we want to see this dude in action you know we want to see beers do stuff he's is he's the god he's the god of destruction let's fucking see it let's fucking go but um yeah no not really that that's just something they've kind of abstained from until lately you know they've been showing beers kick ass uh in the way of uh manhandling vegeta which is nothing new Vegeta has been manhandled uh, plenty of times in the series. Um, he's always kind of been the dude to overestimate himself and then get his ass beat. I mean, that's just Vegeta. That's literally just Jeets. Um, 
as far as I'm concerned, I really find that, um, you know, Vegeta and his essence is, um, they say that they don't like the fact that he's growing, right? That, uh, the, the growth that, that Vegeta is going through has already been done. So people don't like this current growth that Vegeta is going through, through the eyes of Toyotaro. Um, I have to say that, you know, v Beerus is kind of basically forcing an ego death on Vegeta. He's like, hey, everything, like, you have to destroy yourself and completely rebuild yourself. You have to completely destroy everything you, you hold on to about yourself. Any limiting thoughts, anything like that, you have to destroy that. And that is very similar to an ego death, you know. I can, uh, I can, I can speak in on that. To just have your entire sense of self be utterly destroyed in the face of absolute truth. And um, you just notice that, hey, wait, I'm actually nothing. And uh, I need to have this mentality if I want to acquire the divine powers in Dragon Ball. You know, and that's, I think, that's kind of the, where, they taking a, where they're taking it with Vegeta. Um, and I really love that. I really like that, you know. But it's not, it's like letting go of the ego in a way of not becoming this, you know, almost enlightened fucking being like Ultra Instinct or... Well, not really enlightened, he's more so in flow, in the state of flow, you know, in perfect synchronicity with everything, but this kind of thing is more, he, Vegeta, I guess, in that God of Destruction form is just absolute in his, uh, in his, I guess, thirst for destruction, I don't, I don't know, it's like, I, I like that entire concept that Beerus is pushing, but, you know, I do also agree that, yeah, we've kind of had that development, you know? Vegeta has developed. Vegeta has kind of come a long way and he's kind of beyond that old bad guy thing. And, you know, especially when, when Beerus is saying all this shit, like, yeah, you have to let go of a lot of shit. And it's like, does he have to let go of like Bulma, Trunks and all that? Because that's literally what he was criticizing Topo on doing on the in the, um, in the Tournament of Power. You know, he criticized Topo for not being true to himself and just kind of sacrificing himself in order to get that God of Destruction power. But... You know, just because Vegeta had a certain opinion on something in the past, that doesn't mean that he can't have another opinion in the series ever again. Yes, it might contradict the past statement of Vegeta, but, I mean, so? You know, that's how humans are in life as well. You know, we say something and then we change our minds and we, we move on. And um, nothing is set in stone, nothing is stuck, nothing is fixed. So... Yeah, that kind of thing, and uh, it's this constant movement in motion, and it's kind of like if they want to philosophically put something like that into Dragon Ball Super, I highly support it, I love it, you know, I really do love it, I love Ultra Instinct, I love uh, Vegeta's uh, new Hakai thing, I think it would be very dope to have Vegeta have that as his final form, but please... God, when they give him this form, let it have a fucking impact. Let it do something. Let Vegeta be the hero for once, all right? Let Vegeta come in with that new dope-ass, badass form and just beat the fuck out of someone, you know? Let Vegeta really shine this time. Give him, give the man his fucking shine, right? My man's has deserved it. Give Vegeta the shit he deserves. He deserves to be in a badass scene dominating the fuck out of some bitch ass villain he just deserves it he i think really needs that at this point because he's been just juked out of too much shit you know um i think you should kill frieza and um i think you should i don't know maybe beat broly's ass or something just kind of something where vegeta proves that hey i'm the fucking top dog Except for Goku, <laughs> because he's still, you know, Goku with that Ultra Instinct, he's still popping. But, um, or maybe Vegeta's ability can counter Ultra Instinct in a way. Maybe Vegeta's ability is more powerful than Ultra Instinct, and Ultra Instinct is more elusive and more evasive and more defensive. Could be. I don't know. That could be. I, I really don't know. And, um, if that is so, then, hey, it's cool. I'm here for it, but... Let's not devalue Ultra Instinct, you know? Let's keep Ultra Instinct pretty much the pinnacle of power, still. I like that. Because it's just too cool. <laughs> it's just too cool. And make the hair whiter, you know? If, they, if, they, if they're gonna animate this shit, they better make the hair whiter, you know? Because Ultra Instinct with that gray hair... Pff, pff, the fuck? What is that? Come on. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That was just my two cents on Vegeta and uh, Beerus. 
uh, his training session there and uh, Vegeta getting more powerful and all that. So appreciate you for listening and, uh, you know, wish to talk to you, to you guys soon about, you know, just a different topic. You know what I'm saying? Just where the fuck the series is heading or just another topic from Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball. You just comment it down below to what you want to see and we're going to fucking do it. So, yeah. And uh, take care, guys. Peace and love.